What's up, YouTube? So I just left the chiropractor. I have never been to a chiropractor. I am still dealing with this back pain. It's been about a month right now. And uh, it was quite quite the experience. So he cracked my, cracked my spine. He said realign the spine is what he calls it. And uh, then he put me on this water table, uh, which seemed to be pretty cool. And uh, he said a couple, couple treatments in my back should be good get that muscle loose is what he said but what I watched today I was picking up parts in Philly and I had an erectile dysfunction commercial come across on YouTube and it was about 30 minutes and I'm like holy crap but what I learned about this is that the government agencies are having chemicals put in female chemicals put into them into the food and the water and a bunch of other things and the hormones and it kind of made sense to me oh, they're suppressing the male erection right so we're not another way of, to to depopulate to stop you from reproducing because if you don't think about if you if you're not if, if you're a man right and you don't have a you know boner or you don't have that sex drive, well, how are you gonna procreate, right? So what they also said in this thing is about males being confused about their gender because of their bodies full of these these toxins, they called it, and hormones that confuse the, the males when they're born. And I'm like, God damn, this, this sounds right. Like when my buddies, when we were, when we were way younger, and now I'm 50 now, my, my, a bunch of my friends went into the military and they said they put saltpeter in the food. They put food in there so the guys weren't worried about having sex and getting laid and thinking about their girlfriend. You know, they wanted them to be militant. So there's no doubt in my mind that whatever they're putting in the food, and he said it's in the air, it's in a bunch of different things. Um, but it, it confuses the men, the men's chemistry um, and as we get older, it gets worse because your body builds up inside. And he said there's, there's plenty of young men also who have erectile dysfunctions because of how more often that these hormones and chemicals are introduced into the food and the water and everything else. I'm like, God damn. You know, they said it's not low testosterone. It's not this. It's not your diet. It's not your blood pressure. It's, it's what what toxins are putting in that are damaging damaging men males erections and sex drive and sperm count and all that stuff I'm like holy shit of course they're trying to sell you a product um, and I'm, I'm probably not going to do any more digging into that but it makes sense you know it makes sense anybody else ever hear about that let me know thanks for watching